What up my beasties, this is your boy Slightly Jen, and I'm here with basically the game Indivisible. Now, this game is basically created by the same creators of Skullgirls. If you ever played that game, it was a 2D fighting game, but basically you're fighting with these characters who have monster hairs or monster hats, and they're just pretty much going to battle with each other to get basically the Skullgirl heart. But that's that game. This game is about a, a girl named Ajna. She's an Indian girl, and this is actually what you don't really see much of, basically, in games. But we'll be playing the Indian girl, and I think this is during a, it's a religion, I think it's the like Indian Hindu is religion, Hindu shit? I, I'm guessing on that one, I apologize, because I don't really know my religions like that, my apologies. But, you'll be going through, basically, this whole game of trying to gather friends and pretty much to go against this dark evil. After your village was attacked, you were going to hunt down the person who caused all this. That's the beginning part that I got so far. But, so far, I would say if you guys like Skullgirls, it's, you will like this game. Um, if you pretty much like basically like a Pokemon or something like that, Somewhere similar to that, you still have your own base attacks, you pretty much, but all these characters have their own kind of um, buttons they press. For example, uh, if you want Ajna to have only A attacks, uh, she will be only your A's. You have this defense, attack, and pretty much, you know, specials. All characters are unique. Um, this The animation was also created by Trigger, and if you guys don't know who Trigger is, Trigger is creators of Kill a Kill, Gurren Langa, and well, that's pretty much all I got right there. I mean, you got other sh series, but I mean, fine, Darling in France. But yeah, you got those series. And uh, I think I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, maybe because I just love the, maybe just because I love basic. Skullgirls, and I love the animation of the gameplay of Skullgirls. But let's just say Ajna is this girl who she makes friends, and anytime she makes friends, she absorbs them and they go in her head so she can use them later in a fight. I know that sounds way weirder than it's supposed to, but let's just say it's quite awesome. What? What the? Definitely when you got the most badass character with you and you just absorbing your head, you're like, yep, yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do this fight. So yeah, it's that. Um, didn't I enjoyed the time frame that I played this game. It was quite well done. Um it was a little difficult because it's different from all the other games I have played. Basically, when I go against basically to certain games, it's usually a shooting, an action, or a fighting. But this was different, and it was not like any other game I have actually played. It was different, and I liked it for it. And I know many people are going to say, "Well, what about Final Fantasy?" Well, Final Fantasy is like a basically a turn-based game. This is not really much of a turn-based game, more of a actually it's difficult. I don't know how to explain this one actually very well. Of what type of game this would be? I think it would be a fusion of a turn-based game. And a fight, um, basically an adventure game, because you're actually moving, you're actually doing your own thing. So that's what I got. The game, similar-wise, what it looks like, I would say that it pretty much it fits Final Fantasy, but it also fits Skullgirls. A lot of basically similarities of look-wise of Skullgirls. I'm not gonna say gameplay wise, but basically by look wise, definitely 100% Skullgirls. Um, a little bit of basically, since you have a full group, I will say Final Fantasy of all. It's not, not just because all these girls look quite sexy. All right. I plead the fifth. Would I keep playing the game if I have time? I will keep playing it. If I do not, there's a little chance that I am going to pretty much, you know, play it again. Although I heard they had an update, so there may be a chance I may play it again, actually. So I may play it again. It depends. 
the game was quite fair. It, it gave me examples of what to do, how to avoid situations, and it, the puzzles are not too difficult, but they do make you think. So I will say that the puzzles make you think, but they're not too difficult. Uh, but I will say the jumping was quite difficult for me to jump because I did not realize I can just use my axe to grab onto the wall and jump up and I have to keep jumping after that. I thought, okay, jump, jump, jump. I didn't think that. All, right? All I knew is that I had to jump and just jump. I didn't know there was an axe thing that I could hit the wall with. Okay, but now you know what? There, that's my example right there. I mean, I still love it, still great, but it could have given me a better example. I didn't know like a little small edge I can grab on. I love the storyline though. I, I love the storyline. The storyline it fits a freaking anime a hundred percent. It fits a anime a hundred percent. Like I if they made an anime of this, I would love to watch this. Would I play a game similar to this and that's a difficult one because there's not really many games like this. Um but if it has a great storyline and girl that I am very attracted to that I feel like drawing later and making maybe um certain pictures of, um yeah 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 I mean I mean I mean yeah 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 you um, I got rights. Oh, uh, what I recommend is for other people if you are into games like this. If you see gameplay right here. See right here. Um, then yeah, sure, come play this. Storyline is great. The characters are great. Um, pretty much art style beautiful. The land is beautiful. Um, yeah, I would basically offer this to you guys and saying, hey, yeah, come play this. This is actually a really good game. And this is not really different game modes. Um, I heard. Like I said, didn't finish this game, but I heard pretty much once you finish this game, there is a new plus, a new game plus, and pretty much new game plus is you just, you start the game over, but with all your stuff with you. So you pretty much, like I said, it's a spoiler thing, and I just pretty much looked it up, but it deals with the ending, and pretty much you're just reversing right back to your original timeline and doing the whole game over. So, like I said, didn't finish the game, so I can't really talk much on that one. So, after that, there's not really anything else after that. Once you finish the game, you're done. But they have added new stuff, I heard. But, like I said, I have not finished the game. So, I can't really give you guys much on that one. Uh, but so far, right now, there's no other game modes. You only have, like, main storyline. And it's, it's an adventure game. It's not made for basically, you know, multiple situations. It's not a multiplayer. Although you do have a multiplayer. And the multiplayer is one person controls one character. Another person controls the one other character. You pretty much you have your own set characters. So there's a multiplayer. It's just weird. And I never suspect that. But you, you'd rather play this solo. Because if you want your friends to play with you, I feel like they'll ruin everything you have. The game, I already said it, has replay value, um, but uh, basically if you get bored easy doing the same exact thing, even if the enemies are stronger, there's a high chance that pretty much you won't really enjoy the much of the game. Because I know some people just don't like playing the same thing over, so, but that's that's y'all, that's y'all. I'm not gonna basically say, hey, hey, you should play this game because it has replay value. You know, no, just, if you don't like playing replay, basically replay yourself, then, nah. So, overall, love the game. It was fun to play. So, my ranking out of basically this game is 8 out of 10. Protector? We who guard lawn and Mount Sur Actually, no, 8.5 out of 10. I will give it more credit than that. I can't give it a 9 because it, it does seem pretty much... doesn't not much have much replay value. And I think that's the big thing. It's multiplayer is weird. 
but overall story beautiful uh designs of the characters who are actually this is all drawn so this is not basically you know pixel this is drawn beautifully so a on that one a on the last one and pretty much storyline loved it so that was my overall and um hope you guys do one day pick this game up and enjoy it so catch you guys later and i'm going to uh draw some pictures I moved uh, to Lon to resist his armies, and Ajna. that's where they captured me. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, catch you guys later. Peace. I will have my oh, revenge on him for spilling oh, my people's blood. Stay beastly, my friends. Funny you should mention it. We are. <laughs>